Number two, you're going to solve each inequality, then graph the solution. First of all, let's draw the line down that middle. Here we have a negative 7 that's attached to the x, so we're going to add 7 to both sides. Negative 7 plus 7 will cancel, leaving you with just an x. Bring down the inequality. Negative 5 plus 7, it is a positive 2. So here we can now graph it. Here is our number line. All we need is the number 2 and the number 0 for reference. Here, this is x. It is going to be less than 2. So here's the open circle on 2. And it goes all the way to the left because x is less than 2. B, we'll start by drawing the line down that middle. There's a plus 6 that is attached to the x, so we're going to subtract 6 to both sides. 12 minus 6 becomes a positive 6, bring down the inequality, bring down the x, because this will cancel. 6 and minus 6 will cancel. Here we can translate this, um, but it's weird for the x to be on the right, so we can write it in a different version. We can say x is greater than or equal to 6. This way is better to take a look at. Okay. Here's the number 6 for reference, and here's the number 0. Here it's going to be closed. This is read x is greater than or equal to 6. So here is the closed circle, and it goes all the way to the right because x is greater than and equal to 6. Here, let's draw the line down that middle. The 2 is attached via multiplication to the x, so we're going to divide by 2 to both sides. 2 divided by 2 cancels, leaving you with the number 1. Bring down the inequality symbol. 18 divided by 2 becomes 9. So here it is read that x is less than 9. Here's the number 9, here's the number 0. It is an open circle. Since x is less than 9, we go to the left because the numbers get smaller on the left-hand side. Here, let's draw the line down that middle. We have a 1 -fifth that is in front of the x. This is essentially divide by 5. The inverse of divide by 5 is to multiply by 5 to both sides. The 5 over 5 will cancel, leaving you with just an x on the left-hand side. Bring down the inequality symbol, 4 times 5, it is 20. So here we have x is greater than or equal to 20. Here's the number 20. Here's the number 0 for reference. It is a closed circle on 20. x is greater than or equal to, so we go to the right. So there you go. That is how you solve these one-step inequalities and graph it as well. Mm -hmm.